Those clothes don't seem the appropriate attire for this cold weather. Good morning. You okay with this spot for now, Mr. McGuire? Ah, oh, sure. I like to keep moving, I do. It's in me blood. Along with a lot of whiskey. What are you doing? Going fishing. The rivers around here, famous for the smallmouth bass. Fell I met showed me a couple spots. You want to join me? Ah, I can't fish with you. You're far too good. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, join me. I'll show you a couple of my tricks. There's a spot not too far from here that I've been wanting to try out. Glad you're so excited about this. You will be too when you start pulling out smallmouth. Girl. Come on! The fish should be hungry for their breakfast. I thought you said it wasn't far. Too far to walk, though. Yeah, come on. Giddy up! Been a while since we rode out, just you and me. Probably since we went looking for John on the mountain. Uh, yeah. Already seems long ago. How you feeling about everything? Been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. This? This is nothing exactly new to me. And I'll always be loyal to Dutch. He sees the world the same as I do. If we have to fight, we fight. If we have to run, we'll run. If we must die, we'll die, but we'll stay free. And Dutch, you... You don't feel like, well... that he's doing things a little differently now? You saw what happened with that girl on the ferry. No fight, good or bad, is one without blood. I know that better than most. I think too many people are focusing on Dutch when they should be looking at themselves. What they could have done better. Uh, maybe you're right. Whoa! We'll cut through to the right here. Yeah. The other day, I rode down to the Lanahatchee River. I caught some beautiful steelhead trout. You mean the Lanahatchee? No, 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 no. The, the Lanahatchee. It runs right near here. Yeah, but it's pronounced Lanahatchee. Why is everything in English said differently than it's written? Make us feel stupid? Oh, you're asking the wrong feller. Okay, it's just down the hill here. Despacio. Try our luck. Pretty country. <sighs> Beautiful. Come on, let's go see what's biting. You take this spot, Arthur. I'm going to cast from over to the right there, so. We're not in each other's way.
time of day really can make a difference. They feed early morning or late evening because that's when the insects are more likely to be out. We're lucky got such nice weather, but rain can be good. Sometimes big fish think the raindrops are insects. Well, I guess it's still relaxing even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like staring at the sky. It's your bait, I think. Come use some of mine. Oh, it's not the bait. It's me. I've always been a poor fisherman. Especially compared with you and Jose. Just try some of mine. Here. Crickets. Thanks. Okay, let's try for another. Another one. I was thinking, you remember that stagecoach we held up in Nevada? Yeah, it was a tip from that crooked lawman in Reno. We open the door and it's full of women and children. Rich, but women and children. So we let it go and read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day further down the trail. Yep. You know, way back in the day, Homo O'Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Friends? Well, not friends, but they had an understanding. Then Combs Main Street got meaner and Dutch. Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. And now, here we are. Another one. I heard people talk about a huge smallmouth in Lake Owangila. West of Strawberry, over in Big Valley? You need a lure to catch one that big, though. There you go, Arthur. Don't rush it, Arthur. He's small, but might make a nice meal. Lucky. Let's try for one more and then head back. What do you say? That's fine with me. Another one. Come on. You're better than you let on. Pull to the left as he goes right. Keeping you. 
Not bad, you see? It's the bait. <laughs> it ain't just the bait. I'm gonna head back. You wanna join me, or, uh, you keep trying for these bastards? I'll come. Okay, let's go. Make sure you stay Arthur. awake there, Karen. Hey. Ah, oh, you must be dang freezing. There he is. That's a healthy looking horse. The one thing I cannot cook is Mr. Egg. Morgan! So please, somebody... Mr. Morgan, folks is wondering on, what's happened to you. On, Nothing, Miss Grimshaw. Nothing is right. That's the point. That's the point. Work, Mr. Morgan. Folk need feeding. I never took you for the lazy type. Hello, anyway, Mary. I won't disturb you. Sure. Hey, Mr. Pearson. A stew without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. Thank you, Arthur. How are you? Alive. And you? Fine. Let me ask you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think, as a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, it was that one time, but he was a traitor. But Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Well, she always like this. I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. We'll just do it discreetly. I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. Can't believe the dominoes survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. I'm sure I can steal another easy enough. <laughs> I'll keep my eye out for you, too. Great.
Hosea and Dutch have got that twinkle in their eyes again. That usually means trouble. Ha! Ah, well, there, but nothing. Nothing here. All done and domino. You ain't getting nothing from me, ha! Huh? If the Pinkertons could see you now, killer, bank robber, dominoes player. You gotta keep them on their toes. Not the way you wanted to get arrested, though. Imagine the newspaper headlines. Well, keep your eye out then. That's it. Give me something. Great, here. There. Good Domino. for you, really. There we go. Damn, fine, here. Susan? No slacking, Miss Jackson. I found this. You said you lost yours. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Here, please take this. It's the least I can do. Sorry, reckon that was me. God gave me the ability not to read. You gave me your word. I said I'd try. Don't go too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Good boy. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, Uncle Arthur. Mr. Morgan! Morgan! Reverend? Hello. Hello. What do you want? I'm not... I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening.
Good morning. Morning. Take it easy. Good girl. 